So a while back, I posted a picture of some sushi I made on Reddit, and I got some pretty good responses. But the one comment I got the most was, where do you get your fish? It occurred to me that a lot of people actually don't know where to get sushi grade fish. And the fact that sushi grade fish is even a thing. So I'm going to show you three things. One, where to get sushi grade fish in Los Angeles. Two, how easy it is to make some bomb ass sushi, poke, and maybe some onigiri at home. And three, actually how cheap it can be for really great quality sushi. Actually, before I get into that, let me answer the following question because I know I'm going to get it. Um, what even is sushi grade fish? Some fishmongers say it's not a thing, and I would think that some sushi restaurants would say otherwise. Essentially, sushi grade fish is fish that is safe enough to eat raw. Now you may be wondering, well, isn't all fresh fish safe to eat raw? You actually be incorrect. Um, actually, a lot of places buy fish that's previously frozen. And the reason for that is that fresh fish has a lot higher of a chance to actually have live parasites. Like you just Google search X store uh, worms or parasites in salmon or X fish here, and you'll get a lot of results. And the startling fact is that's actually pretty normal, right? A lot of these stores are thinking that you're gonna be eating this fish cooked, that'll kill the parasites, you'll be good to go. So don't eat that raw. That's why I really recommend you go to like a reputable fishmonger or go to a place that specializes in sushi grade fish. Now, that aside, let me show you where I get my sushi grade fish in Los Angeles. So one of the two places I go to is actually like a hidden gem of sorts. It's a, um, if you know, you know, kind of deal. You know what I mean? Uh, and this place is called Yama Seafood and it's uh, located in San Gabriel nestled in this pretty unassuming strip mall. Uh, the place has been here for like over 40 years and it's family owned and operated. The owner, Mr. Yama, still mans the counter to this day and he'll still catch your fish. I want to highlight this place because the fish is really good quality. So yeah, if you want to support local, I would say this is like some of the freshest fish you can get on the east side of Los Angeles. Now, understandably, San Gabriel is a bit far for some people, right? If you're not on the east side, it's going to be taking a long time for you to get there, especially with LA traffic that's coming back. So the next place I have that I go to is uh, called Tokyo Central, uh, located in the Gardena. You know, I like this place a lot. It has a lot of Japanese imported goods, but I mainly come here for the fish. Like everything is pretty good quality, specifically sushi or sashimi grade. And something that makes this place uh, different from Yama Seafood is the fact that they have like tons of options when it comes to different fish. They got shrimp, they got scallops, abalone, octopus, hamachi, salmon, snapper. And something that really surprised me was they actually even have bluefin tuna. Now bluefin is pretty expensive, but if you really want it, they got it here. They also have like a pretty wide variety of fish eggs. So they got your salmon eggs, ikura, right? They got masago, they got mentaiko, like they got a lot of stuff. Uh, something that's important to note is that when you're choosing the fish, try to get the wider or thicker pieces because when you're gonna be slicing a fish for nigiri, you want enough fish to cover the rice, right? If you have a super like thin piece, it's not gonna cover the rice, it's not gonna look good. Go for the thicker pieces. Now, if you're making poke, that's a different story, right? Because you're gonna be chopping that fish up anyway. So in that sense, the thickness is not important. So you may not actively think about it when eating it, but the rice and sushi is just important as a fish, dudes. I mean, the word sushi in Japanese literally means or translates to vinegared rice. <laughs> so if you have really shitty rice, it doesn't matter if you've got like the best tuna in the world on it, some really good salmon, uh, the texture and flavor of terrible rice is gonna distract from it. Uh, you know, the fish needs to complement the rice. Uh, and for the rice I use, I personally use this one. I got at Tokyo Central. It's relatively cheap. It's just a, like a California short grain rice. Um, make sure you get some short grain. Don't cheap out. Don't try to use jasmine. Don't try to use basmati. Uh, go for some short grain because the other rices are not going to be like as sticky. It's not going to be as glutinous. It's not going to hold together. Uh, it's just going to be mushy if you try using a different kind of rice. So yeah, use short grain rice. Uh, as for how to make like sushi specific rice, uh, I'll make a separate video on that. It's really simple, really easy. You just use a rice cooker. And if you don't have a rice cooker, uh, you need to get one because they're life changing, right? But for now, let's go make some sushi. All right, now that we got our sushi rice nice and rested, it's time to slice up the fish. We're gonna go ahead and start off with the hamachi or yellowtail. You know, I'm by no means an expert, but the general principle of making the sushi is the same. 
first you're gonna wet your hands since the sushi rice is super sticky. Then you're gonna grab a small handful of rice, you know, not too big. Shape it into a small oval and go ahead and place it down. Now if you want, go ahead and add some wasabi on top. I went ahead and did so. Uh, then we go ahead and slice our fish. Now remember when I said that the fish should be nice and wide or thick? This is why. We want the thicker slices to fully cover the rice, which makes for a pretty good piece of sushi. Process is exactly the same for salmon. You know, you get your rice, add some wasabi if you want, get a nice thick little slice of fish, add it on top, and you're having a good time. Now, all that's left to do after you slice up the fish is basically to plate and enjoy your food. Uh, well, actually, first you gotta obsess over the placement of your plates. Now, you could just eat the nigiri by its own, but I really like enjoying it with some really good quality soy sauce. Uh, I got this one uh, actually when I went to Japan last year. Uh, back when you could actually travel uh, but yeah use whatever soy sauce you have uh, if you can find a really good one go ahead and grab it uh, i also like this nice little saucer i got while i was there too uh, but yeah take a look at this plate of sushi dudes i need to emphasize the price because this is like relatively pretty cheap compared to what you get at a sushi restaurant you know the salmon and yellowtail i bought cost about like 18 bucks total that means that these 16 pieces of sushi cost about 10 bucks or $5 a person when you consider the price of the rice. You like literally you can't go anywhere in Los Angeles or you, I don't even know any other place where you get 16 pieces of really good quality sushi for five bucks a person or 10 bucks total. If you do, please let me know in the comments. I'll go there, right? But for now, I'm gonna make this at home. 10 bucks for 16 pieces of sushi? Come on, like go make your own sushi. Anyways, y'all, thank you again for tuning into another one of my videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna make some more. I'll see you in the next one.